to then go back and put the stickers on top of the background. Yeah. So I used to make cartoons like that, but it's on YouTube. Oh my god, dude. Yeah. I, there's also one more. Sorry, Zach, I know you want to say it. There was also Joe Cartoons, I think it was. You were started. Dude. Can dude. I say, oh, it's still over on Stick Pay or Stick Death? I used to use Play. I used to play. Used to use what's it called? Stick Page. Dot com too. That's still around. Stick Page. Yeah. Hey, no, no, no. One time, this is a story. My brother forgot the T, right? <laughs> now, sickpage.com was a real website. That was registered. It was a very pornographic oh website. Oh, my God. I... And we were children. He was exactly looking at this. I was like, what? He was like, look at this. I was like, holy fuck. I remember what the video was. It was like some chick boy being black on top of like a, like, a, like, a, like, a, like a luggage cart for a hotel. And I was like, what? That was like my first real experience to like porn. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> Dude, Zach, once I was like... <laughs> I don't know if I told this story, but we were on the computer, me and my sister. It was it was a joint, it was a joint like party. It was a joint, 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 a joint venture, party. Joint yeah. Venture, yeah, we were like, let's look at like naughty sites. How old were you? I was young. How old was Because I, I I didn't know that typing into the address bar would forever save it in the history. Oh, so yeah. that's, that's gonna be rough later, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. So I was in the address bar. <laughs> <laughs> and, Christ, uh, and my sister <laughs> Cody, you fuck what you do <laughs> and my sister was like type in men's dick <laughs> it was like the most basic did you also want to see that too no I was like okay cause I, wa- I was like I wanted to see if there's actual sites so she put in men's dick and I was like whoa and then um like I'm like I'm gonna put in girls pussy and we were like doing that and then we were putting in like big farts and stuff <laughs> we were putting in all this stuff in the search history and laughing and we went upstairs. <laughs> My dad called her name. We went oh down. God, the feeling of drudge you must have been. We went down because we thought we hit all. We thought we were sneaky little kids that like cleared the history. We didn't know it was still in the fucking address because we cleared the history. And he's like, he had like flipped the thing around, and the first thing was like men's dick was like this cowboy <laughs> guy showing his like dick and like tilting his head and stuff. And he's like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> I was like petrified, and he's like, "Oh, you thought it was sneaky? I'll clear the fucking history." Little did you know, you put it in the address bar, which saves it permanently. Go to your room. I was terrified. <laughs> but did you ever do something like that? I did something kind of similar. I pissed my parents off. I, my friend Brett and I, we were like, uh, God, we must be like fucking eight, fucking nine maybe, and we figured out about. Uh, Calling the operator, mm-hmm. we called. We're like, hey, can you press to Jim Carrey? And he was like, excuse me. We hung up. We called back, and my friend asked to see Sonic the Hedgehog. He was being serious. He's like, put me through Sonic the Hedgehog. And they called back, and they were like, they called my dad. They're like, we're gonna call the fucking cops if you keep calling asking for Sonic the Hedgehog. We're gonna clean, fucking clog the lines up with this shit. <laughs> they were mad, dude. They were not happy. Why is everyone in our group like obsessed with Sonic the Hedgehog? <laughs> I was seven. Guys, it's really fucking hot in here. It's like I know. Fun. Let's end like, it. Let's I'm end dying. it. Let's end it. Okay. Um. So in closing, Jeff joined Utah went on to make the funniest Minecraft parodies, <laughs> including uh, Markiplier as a guest in them. He became rich. He became very rich and he blew his brains out with a gun. <laughs> Chris went on to be to go to a gorilla exhibit and, uh, and throw himself in the pit and kill one of the gorillas. <laughs> Zach went to Fuck you. old people home and he learned how to perfect his character drawing so when old people were dying he could draw them ugly and make them laugh at themselves until they died to a coma <laughs> laugh until they <laughs> coma. <laughs> Fuck you Zach, this is my ending. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Nicky went on to have a wide vagina that everyone looked at and looked away from when they saw it. A barbed wire boy. Zach went on to have a big penis and he had a lot of money and he also had a lot of sexy girlfriends and he also Zach went on he was a college kid in school and nobody could even give up because he was also the captain of the football team. Zach was stuck in his own brain where he constantly considered himself as a beautiful man even though he was in a coma for the rest of his life and he fucking went away with no penis. There's a town that was seen like a giant again. There is a world as tangible as our own, impossible to see yet unavoidable to sense. A world enveloped by a seemingly unending ocean of forests. Buried deep in that forest, tucked away neatly within a blanket of twilight, lies a quaint little cabin. And in that cabin is a bunch of guys who's a bunch of bullshit. Welcome to Sleepy Cass. <laughs>
<laughs> We've got the pussy spectacular tonight. For Christ's sake. All right. Yeah. Here we have uh, the man himself, the gross gorilla boy. Mm. Uh, OG. Uh, you got Zach. Wow, what a big penis everyone says. Guys, stop. I get it all the time. Mm. I'm getting sick of it. All right, stop bothering me. I'm trying to make groceries. Uh, you got... Niall! Yeah, Niall here, guys. You know, it's me. That's the guy. Uh, that, that yeah. We got Sabrina! Woo! Oh, we also got... Whatever. Nikki Max. Nikki Max. Yeah. The also sibling. known as Ego Raptor. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, biggest fan. So today we're going to be talking about... Apples. Apples. Where do they come from? Green or red? What color is your favorite? Look, apples. I like a bigger apple. There's some worms inside it. The crispier the better. What are you talking honey about? Chris, look at the same shit. That is apples? the superior apple. She's not even with your fucking honey time. Honey, you talk about you this have, bullshit. Did you ever have Pink Lady? Are they pink? Yeah. There's what? an app called Pink oh, Lady. Yeah. Ask the me best if I've ever apples. had a yeah, Pink Lady. Are they apples? No, no. All ladies are pink, except for some girls. Mm, no, girls yeah. are purple. Mm. Down there. Care- careful now. You know that, though. It's a fact. What? The ones with the brown nipples, they always have brown kind of purple. It's called ashy, dude. They have ashy pussies. Excuse me? It's ash. They, got, they got big and that's it looks too, like someone, that's too far. It looks like someone went to a bar, collected all the ashtrays, and just dumped it in their We were talking about apples here. What it looks like is they were standing on a truck or whatever, and then the car crashed, and they flew off the top and landed on their pussy in the desert and skated around for a bit on it. It looks like, it looks like they were cooking something in the start, but it just briefly <laughs> fell up to the pussy, hit the stove for like four seconds, and they came back. They landed, kid, they jolted the back, it was a pussy at the stove. You were talking about a little pussy. Oh, yeah. oh, we, know, we know what you're talking about. Us Nikki, show us that for pussy. Show us that for pussy. Show us that for pussy. Oh, so there's Granny Smith apples. Yeah, what about those apples? Apples, huh? Um, there's there's green apples. There's yellow apples. There's red. There's a mix. Yeah. I, I would seriously say, honestly, no, no goop on the side. A big red apple is the best. A big crunchy mm-hmm. red apple. Mm-hmm. Have you heard? Yeah. Have I you got heard? those pussy little like kind of red apples that are circles. I'm talking about the big crunchy yeah, the apples. One, yeah, yeah, the ones with the like those big crisp fuckers. Yeah. Where you're speaking, them. speaking of apples, do you you had a story? You mentioned apples uh, about um, hmm. what was it? Zoe's, Zoe's grill or something? There's something to do with apples. Oh, yes, the very guy. good segue. Yes, yeah. I was with was Jeff. that intentional? <laughs> I was with Jeff. No, it wasn't for real. <laughs> I was with Jeff a couple weeks ago, Johnny Utah. Uh, and mm-hmm. we were at this place called Zoe's Kitchen and I got this I got like a chicken salad but there was like one piece of fucking chicken and a million apple slices and there were green apples and I used to like green apples but I didn't like them that much so I picked them up I was like I'm just in the mood for like a chicken salad I was really hungry just wanted chicken and fucking lettuce and the dude walked over and really like, cut the apples and was like what you don't like apples? <laughs> I was like, uh, he was like, he just grabbed, he took my tray of apples and he threw it away. What? Wow. I've never had somebody fucking hack to me personally when I'm not eating. I bought, I could pay for, I could buy the food and throw it all away if I want to. Like you were was at the angry? table and he walked yeah, over he was, like, and took it away. He was like, snobby about it, but I could do whatever the fuck I want with my apples. Zach, if it makes you feel any better, I didn't know that story, but today I pissed off the Zoe's Kitchen workers because Zoe's Kitchen is right beside the Wawa's. What and is Zoe's Kitchen? It's, it's like, like a fucking gluten free health shit. Oh, it's, it's, it's pretty good, but it's like a pretentious, yeah. like, bright colors. Like 20 bucks for like a like slice of chicken. Lunch. But I pissed but them off. But it's got a leaf on it, so oh, yeah. oh. Yeah, yeah. But I pissed them off today because I was buying uh, this like, this gentleman here a coffee that he's drinking right now. And That's I bought me a boys. coffee too, but I want to change the music on my phone. So I put it down on their table outside, and they were all looking at me like this from the outside. Like, you Dude, can't do that. Shit. And I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, but no, I, I actually cowered in fear and ran away, but... Yeah, that that happened. So Zach, I, I got Wait, revenge. Speaking of pissing people off, remember the guy we pissed off last week? Which guy? Me. We didn't piss him off. We did. No, he was. No, he was. Me and I were walking home from uh, dinner, and we were outside of our house. And then this, we crossed the road because oh, that guy. it's hard to cross the road right outside of our house for so much traffic. And then we crossed the road, and there was this guy walking towards us. And we crossed the road. He was like, "Hey!" We were like, "What?" And he's like, "Not that scary, am I?" And we were like, no. And he was like, why'd you cross the road? Yeah, <laughs> you know, this guy looked like this. He was just fucking with you. He was fucking with you. He was fucking with you. He was not he, fucking with you. He looked like the stereotypical Vietnam vet. Eye yeah. patch, cane, yeah. and a huge big gray beard. And he was like, hey, I'm not that scary, am I? He <laughs> seemed so, he seen so many dead bodies. In his no, I know. Sense of he humor. seemed fine. But then when we crossed the road, uh, we kept walking. We are like, we're, no, we, we live here. And he was like, oh. But then he kept walking. And he saw us walk more. And no, he was what? like, you're a fucking liar. Yeah. I'm not. Two houses over. But he was like. 
No, I think what he what he was thinking was uh, all the like the Vietnamese people that were like really really terrified of him. They had flashbacks of people that were scared of him. He was like, Arr. he was just fucking with you. That's what everyone does when they're older. They fuck with younger. If I was, if I was his age, I would do the exact yeah, same thing. Like, why are you scared of Ron? The kids run away. It's, it's, it's what yeah. you do when you're old. I can't wait to be old. I can't yeah. wait to be old. I, I do that today. I did that today to 15 kids. That was just you in the future, Zach. Yeah, it's me that's tomorrow. You. Yeah. I came back from past you when you came out of the fucking womb. Yeah. The doctor threw it so well. I screwed it around. The table, <laughs> slithering the monster. Button, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> um, there are also uh, apple tree apples, the ones that fall from the tree. Uh, what do you think of those ones? They suck. I hate them. Yeah, they're never as good as the ones you buy in the store. Oh, yeah. I disagree. Can I say mm-hmm. uh, there was an apple tree grandpa's backyard? Oh, that grandpa, that grandpa's. He had squirrels that used to drown. That's a true story. Do you know story? Uh, no, no. My grandpa, he's like a World War II vet. He's a green vet, but he's just, he's also. Uh, so he's seen some shit. <laughs> he's seen some shit. He doesn't kill anymore. I've talked about before. Really? He's, he's a big <laughs> racist, but he's a, like a lovable racist. You know, we asked with that by saying. His racism is not lovable, but he's a lovable guy who is a racist. Who happens to be a racist. He's one of those guys. I think I told the story on Martin Luther King Day. He was like, ah, it's Martin Luther King Day. Ah, and I was like, oh, good, but you can't say that. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, he's that kind of guy. He just laughed, though. He didn't care. <laughs> he just watches uh, fucking Week to Beaver all day. But anyways. <laughs> oh, uh, so he, 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 he hates fucking, he loves his, like, lawn and backyard. Yeah. And he gets gophers and squirrels and shit. Like, whenever he sees a gopher holes, he just fucking throws smoke bombs at him and kills him. <laughs> but... He also used to take his, when he was a little bit more, like, 10 years ago, he used to take his gun and shoot fucking squirrels from the trees in his backyard. Oh but what God. he does now is he he sets squirrel traps everywhere in his backyard, and he gets myself or maybe now one of my younger cousins to just drop in a pool of water and make them drown. Oh, my God. That's, uh, that's cool. You know, I've seen some trees where it's like, give a shit. He's like, what else are we going to do? Fucking hit him with a brick or I don't know. That's I've funny. Like, how... If he got a wooden mallet, that would be the funny. He just drops with a pool. Yeah. He's just sister. Uh, like yeah, he doesn't just... take pleasure. He's just like, ah, I got a fuck. He drops. You don't know that. He's probably outside. He next could be joking. I don't know. He's, he's touching his little he's weird. Joking. He's joking. He's not like He could be joking, yeah. <laughs> Have we talked about joking before? I don't know. Every guy just froze up because, like, oh god, somebody else knows about joking. All you fuckers joke. This is something that, like, everyone, every man. Okay, okay. Ladies, you guys are for a treat. Jo- every joking? guy We're listening, listening, every guy, yeah, this is this is a whole world you're gonna know about. Every guy listening knows every, about joking. Even, everyone here, joking. and they didn't know that any other guy knows about joking. But every it's, guy it's knows an egg I cracked. I, I, because it's when you Google how to get a bigger dick, uh, it tells you about this technique called joking. It's where you take you, you lotion, basically you, you put a warm cloth over your dick, you take a shower, and you take your hand like this and squeeze your cock. From base to tip, over like 30 minutes. Yeah. And there's usually guys with like big buff guys and huge cocks like, I joke every day. He's like, whoa, dude. <laughs> and then here's what everyone does for like this. Everyone does it for like two days, like, man, that's too much. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to have a small dick. My thing is like, uh, it's the same as jacking off, really. You're not pulling, so I'm gonna jack off my dick. Okay, I was jacking so before I knew what it was. It's specifically for pleasure. No, no, it's it just to make your dick bigger. Get your dick bigger. Stretching your dick. Is it scientifically proven? They say they say your dick is made of these, like, this spongy fibers. Like, yeah. Yeah. And that. Is kind of uh, yeah, so like you're kind of breaking up the sponges and uh, like it stretches it and then it fills in like it's the same thing as like working out your ass yeah, yeah, like, like, where it builds it. down and comes back. It doesn't work though. I, I yeah, you guys had no idea about this. So, Ray, can you imagine us like in the shower like yeah, yeah. 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 yeah.
You're right up to every fifth of an inch. You give us half a rounding up numbers, no, but I don't do it with a wiener. Look, every guy goes to every half an inch. Nobody, yeah, you're if you think it's 5.1, you're like, yeah, it's like 5.5 pretty much. So, do you, you guys still up. jelk today? No. Uh, I, I, like I said, jelk is a thing you do. Is that phase over? Jelk is a thing every guy gets for two days into like... When you're 14, you do it. Yeah. And this involves a gel? No, 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 it's, I don't know, it's just called gel. Some thing. guy, you man. You really take lotion, just do this to you. Uh, this guy's doing that when I was doing it before. I looked up what it was. I was already just doing it because I thought it would work. <laughs> no, it, did, it doesn't. No. But then what about the whole, like, because I guess, I guess, there's like no cocktails out there. Have you Everyone seen dick stretchers? Same idea? What? Have I, you seen dick stretchers? No. They're these fucking things you tie to your leg, or like around your knee, and you oh, dick gets pulled those. down to it, like yeah. with an elastic oh, rubber band. Oh, why, why don't you just tie it to like a door frame and just hang off it for like a few hours? There's, there's a video of that. Have you seen what? that? Yeah, guys, guy, Chinese guys, like tie weights to their dicks and they're like, Whoa! <laughs> like their face is and they're sweaty and shit. What? There's a video of a guy swinging around in his doorway with his dick, and he's having the best time ever. What? Oh my <laughs> god. You guys, you guys watch the worst videos. Serious? You don't watch enough videos. Yeah, you don't watch enough. I don't, I don't want watch enough All you Chinese do is steal coffee. You watch kittens get stomped to death, and you won't that watch a guy swing by his dick. <laughs> First of all, that was on accident. You watched okay? the whole thing by accident. Bullshit. Oh, you're fucking nice face, okay? And the message board. You watched all of it. What did you watch? <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Nick actually came over. She was like, I saw the best video. A kitten getting stomped to death. I know every second. It's pretty cool. I never pussy got yeah, wet and dripped on the floor. Yeah, I might cry. If somebody showed me a video of a baby duck or something dying, I might cry. I've seen some awful shit on accident. Like, I, don't, I don't seek out these videos. Sabrina, what's the worst video you've ever seen online that you actually like saw? That you, Probably something one of you guys sent to me. Yeah, Probably like something like, like a picture too. Uh, just, holy shit. ISIS videos? Yeah, probably. I mean, I don't know. Did Chris send you a beheading video? I did not send beheading no, videos. No, but you guys sent me some pretty weird shit. You're like, a little shit every time I go to like, like bad stuff to like, no, people no, no, it's never kill. like, never sent anyone that kind of shit. I should shag me the fucking Bjork stuff and go, I was like, kill yourself, and shag me was getting a kick out of it. <laughs> You've never seen funny. that one. He put up, he put up this big fat gamer guy. He does. Oh know. my god! When Corey was laughing at that, I was crying laughing at Corey laughing. He, they, 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 basically, the context is Chad and Corey, Corey were putting this. They showed me this video of this big obese guy like, oh, I hit the fucking game cube. Yeah, he's like, there's the Nintendo shit cube. And there's a, he there's, like a, there's a noise, like a broomstick There's a sound he makes in the intro where it goes, oh. Yeah. oh. Well, so that sounds like the fucking broke stuff when he kills himself for for, for Carla Lopez. <laughs> and I showed the Chad and he got a kick out of it. And Corey was like. Laughing. Laughing so fucking hard at that fact. Really why though? It's because it was a huge computer with massive speakers. Like, boom, boom, boom. oh yeah, we were we were at, we were in the Newgrounds offices, and the Pico Day setup was already there. So there was like a huge projector with like massive speakers all around. <laughs> Corey blasted him. There's this big fat guy going, "Oh, Nintendo shit cube." <laughs> what else did you play now? Yeah, I'll give her. So Corey's been staying at Stamper's over the past weekend because of Pico Day. Yeah. In the mornings, I've been hanging out with him and Chad playing Mario Party 3D World. Oh, and Corey is so intense when. He plays Dude. it. He, yeah. gets, he was stuck on a level and he was red faced screaming. <laughs> and of course, he was quoting like all these game reviewers. Yeah. And Chad's making all like trivial questions. Oh, Chad's like, fucking Chad's spinning the flames yeah. all the time. Corey, calm down. It's only a video game. <laughs> well, Chad loves to do that. You know, it was funny. Like, he, he was playing. I woke up to him screaming one day. I was like, what the fuck? And I walked out. I was like, Corey's dad must have died or something. And I walked upstairs and he was playing Sonic Adventure 2. <laughs> <laughs> like the funniest thing. That's, that's, that's Corey. That story is He used Corey. to keep Chris up at night because he'd be screaming at Team Fortress 2. Oh, my yeah. God. Well, what? What, the funniest thing Corey ever did was he let a piece of fruit rot in his room. <laughs> yeah. And fucking... Oh, and, God. And then it gave birth to all these maggots, right? Oof. No, this, this is the best story ever. So, Corey let this piece of fruit rot in his bedroom. Back at the old house. And then these maggots crawled out, like fucking millions, they were, right? They were all millions. Were there a bunch they, of flies They all poke evolved into moths, little tiny oh, moths. Oh, no. <laughs> every day, I heard Corey slapping the wall going, Oh! I'm sick of this! It's like, Corey, remove the fucking rotten fruit, you idiot! Hey, he was gonna keep the fruit in there! The whole house was covered in maggots and oh, no. moths. I walked into his room and there was a blue, blue bottle. I was like, Corey, this is we like four months. He's like, oh yeah. And I, looked inside, I looked inside and there was like four inches of dead flies. There was a fly oh, on the cost. And I was like, Corey, he started laughing. He was like, oh. <laughs> but every night he was slapping my wall was like, to kill flies on the wall. I was like, Corey! Also, Corey's bedroom had like glass shards to the ceiling because yeah. it was an art house. And they used to like sporadically just fall onto the ground. Like almost impaling me, be like, oh. Like, what? That's <laughs> fucking crazy. just like, oh. Like right beside him. Didn't that like like jolt you out of his sleep at some point? Where yeah, you were just I like, thought oh, like, someone threw a break through the room. Yeah. I thought someone, and I woke up there. I was like, what? I was like, what the fuck? I was like, I was like still like dreaming. So I was like, what? Because Chris was standing over me. He didn't turn my light. 
was like a shadow of Chris. Hold up! I was trying to process what the fuck was happening. I thought someone was breaking in. I was like, Zach! Did someone break in? And he was like, what? For me, it's, it's, it's not when I'm waking up. It's when I'm going to sleep. Yeah, and, like, no, you're no. kind of drifting off and it's really dark. Yeah, And then too. you start seeing, like, almost like shapes or whatever. Oh, I, I, I hate when you're about to fall asleep. And you get that jolt. Like, yeah. And you're just like... Do you ever, do you ever dream of... Does, does, that, does that ever coincide with like something you're thinking of? So it's like you fall down a stair or like a door hits your face or something? Yeah. And you wake up. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, I had one that scared the living shit out of me. It was like one of those like outer body experience. Like, it's like sleep paralysis. Mm. And I was yeah. like outside my body and I went outside my bedroom. And I was like, hmm, I can like experiment. And I checked my bookshelf and I was like, I can see what order these books are in. So when I wake up, see if it was real or not. And it was in that order. I was like... Wah! When I woke up, then I was like, I must have been like sleepwalking or some shit. Have you ever yeah. fallen fall out of the bed while you're sleeping? Like, you just fucking turn yeah, the yeah, fall the fall the I'm like the I'm like the worst. When I was in Spain, I did that. I smashed my head off the floor. It was I'm like always really That explains a lot. I'm yeah. always really proud of when I'm on a bunk bed, they'll fall off the top yeah. bunk. I'm always too prepared. Yeah, but then when I'm on the bottom bunk, I always think the guy's going to collapse and crush yeah. me to death. You know, do you remember when we lived at the old house? I had that bunk bed that was too close I to the ceiling. That. Chris was an idiot, bought a bunk bed without measuring it. His fucking top bunk was literally to crawl. So I woke up. Sandwich. I woke up to yeah. take a piss. I was like, bam! Yeah, yeah. Oh, God, I was about fuck. to say that. Uh, one time I woke up from a nightmare up there, I smashed my head off the roof. <laughs> That's what you wake up to. You don't have any scared you. smash your face immediately. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You could like stand underneath that bed, like yeah. But the top, the top bunk was like you felt like a, you felt like you were in a coffin or something. Yeah, yeah. Awful. Yeah, yeah, it was awful. Yeah, so that bed was yeah. the best for recording only plays though. We used to like we used to just like there was like a mattress and we used to like lie in there with a mic dangling from yeah, it. Yeah, it was cool. It was a good little thing. It was a good little setup. Yeah, I miss that house, like especially living with Shad and Corey. Mm -hmm. Like just that, like Shad would just walk in like every now and then, just be like, "Hey, what are you guys doing?" And he'd be like, huh, and then just have like a long conversation. You know, it's weird. A lot of people would give credit for, but he's a great guy to have conversations. Yeah, he's just yeah. You'll see some of that when we yeah. use other podcasts. He's a great guy in general. He's a good conversationalist. Mm -hmm. You can talk to him. Mean, every every night at Stampers, we always end up in the kitchen, and Shad always yeah. joins us. Oh, yeah, yeah. Talk, yeah. Like, those like hours. That. We have we, we, we have those kitchen talks that that, yeah. that they yeah. were like iconic. Like 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 I'd like I'd wake up at like three in the morning. For water and shout to be in the kitchen and then like I go back to bed like seven in the morning after just talking for like five yeah, hours. You just yeah. talking, like, like, holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's always down there making this tea or whatever. You're always yeah. talking kitchen like something. Yeah, it could be fucking it could be the other yeah. game of one night, it could be fucking like time travel the next night. It's what's always fun about yeah. He has such interesting perspectives on things. Yeah. Like he's not like a normal like He's, he's not normal. He's, 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 you know, he of course. The best way, the best way to has, describe him is Shad is against nature. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, like, Shad, like Shad would thrive in a like post-apocalyptic setting. In a Pokeball. He always reminds me of the uncle that fucks with you. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's, yeah, he's like, how you doing, eh? <laughs> Except, yeah, your uncle wouldn't put actual knives to your throat when you walk upstairs <laughs> like Shad would. But, yeah. Uh, you probably had it coming, though. <laughs> yeah. He did it to you and you started crying, remember? <laughs> oh, yeah, I screamed. Wait your pants. <laughs> That's what you said. <laughs> First kiss off your legs. That was blood because you cut my dick off back. Gross. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is this your first time in Philadelphia? Yes, it is. And what do you think? What's, what's the difference? What's a lot the... of black guys jaywalking, let me tell you Does that. Does that make you horny? Yeah. I saw a video of a guy in Seattle, a black guy jaywalking and got shot by police. Was that, are you sure that was I Seattle? swear to God that was Seattle. I swear Seattle. to God I remember that was Seattle. Well, We're from Seattle. Talk about that. The walkers Seattle are fucking sucks. scum. It's beautiful, but I hate the people there. The hipsters. Very pretentious. So many businesses. Is it like people. art school just in like a state? Isn't the California kind of blown up a little bit? A little bit. Yeah. Like the front of people like Portland and then Seattle, it's like more hipstery. Seattle has Amazon, Microsoft, it's got Adobe, it's got Google, it's got all these businesses that keep inviting people to move in from like oh, India. Oh, Silicon Valley, those those little skinny guys with mustaches and... and no, glasses. no, like they're, they're they're flying in people from like India and everything, mm -hmm. so there's a lot of Indian people Gross. there. There's a lot I, know, of I heard Seattle's kind of the new, uh, the new like growing area, the new booming area, that's the new kind of place to go. It is, I mean, we I got, always we got go weed legal, we got, you do. We got oh, yeah. coffee... Whoa. Still very pretentious. Talk, talk, talk about the, the weed being legal. <laughs> Seattle's a bunch of people that are hard to talk to. There's a thing called Seattle Freeze, where like people just they aren't friendly. They won't make eye contact. It's hard to have a conversation. I think I know why that is because they're all kind of thinking like if they're that kind of person that you're talking about, they're all like thinking about themselves all the time. So like yeah, they're yeah, kind of you're just yeah, concentrating yeah. on what you're doing. You're I'm, kind of worried about like if people are looking at you or not, and you're just hmm. like that. Just sounds like you're very so socially awkward. A lot of people are in Seattle. Oh, really? I feel very out of place. Like, here, I feel like I'm at... 
You're at home. I'm, I'm at home. There like, you go. I can talk to people on the street. Yeah. I go out with Mick to like a grocery store, and he's Everyone having a super regular Philly. conversation. That's, that's yeah, yeah. yeah. I lived in New Jersey as well. And compared to there, like mm-hmm. the Phillies just look worse. Yeah, I, I always find that too. New Jersey. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to hate on Seattle so much because it is like a booming place. It, like I've met a lot of good people there and everything, and it's beautiful in the summer and spring with the mountains and blue the Puget sky. Puget Sound is that the? Yeah, the Puget Sound area. I mean. It, it's, it doesn't rain all the time. If anything, it's just cloudy. It's like, it's like Irish weather, I think, isn't it? Like, it is, it is. Yeah. It's kind of so foggy, kind of cloudy, shit. gray. Mm-hmm. What's the friendliest place you guys ever were? Ooh. Mm-hmm. Probably, I mean, the more touristy places in Canada are super friendly. That's good. Uh, Jasper and Banff. They're two separate places, but Banff? they're really Banff, B A N F F. Oh. Banff, like not like badass motherfucker. Badass motherfucker. <laughs> it's close to it though, but it's really touristy, so there's a. But bunch so of sorry, they just do that for show because everyone thinks Canada is like a freely friendly Maybe. place, and then the further out you go, well, that, 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 but it really is. It really is a, a cool place. place. North Korea keeps it up. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, no, it's really well, afraid of it. Uh, no, this oh, well, isn't anything like North Dennis Korea. Dennis Rodman compare fucking North Korea to Banff, Canada. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, Dennis Rodman fell for it. He fell for it. Yeah. He's Dennis Rodman. That's true. No, it's nice though. There's just tons of wildlife. Like it's a place where like elk and bighorn sheep and whatnot like would just cool. walk across. The I street. love bighorn sheep. Yeah, and like you can see bears mm-hmm. too if you're lucky. You like uh, big horns, it. don't you? Like, it's just cool. <laughs> nice dude. What about you guys? Uh, Iowa. Iowa. Yeah, it, well, big, the, why? The Midwest, why? Every, so what? Every, everybody in the Midwest, you can ask if Stamper was here to tell you this, because he has family in the Midwest too. I thought they were super friendly. Yeah. Oh. Like here, but on, like on crack. It's ridiculous. Hmm. I, I have to say Philadelphia so far. I've been to Burbank, yeah. California. I've been to LA, That's San your Francisco. problem. You've been, you've been to California. That's why no one's fucking friendly. Philly's? Yeah. Philly's like Ireland in the sense where people are really, really friendly when you start talking to them, but no one goes out of their way to talk to you. That, I, I, the Midwest people be like, hey, people yeah, like, people get come to, up to you. It's yeah, weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People mm-hmm. come up to you, get to try to get people. It's a little intimidating when you think about it. No, no, no it's, it's not. It's, it's lovely. Really, it's really, I love that shit. It's, you never feel like, oh, get the fuck away from me, you weirdo. Yeah. It's always like, hey, how you doing? I've never had a friendliest place that I've been to. I think everyone's kind of similar everywhere. Go to yeah. Ottawa. Yeah, yeah. No, they're not pranks. I just... <laughs> not pranks. Yeah. Well, how about, how about like the opposite then? The, the meanest... California. I haven't been to California. The meanest place I've been to... Um, they, they're not even dicks. They're just not... They're not people. The meanest they're place they're I ever was ones. was fucking Rome. <laughs> Really? <laughs> yeah, you said Europe was a shithole. I didn't say Europe was a shithole. Like, you said France was a shithole, Italy was a shithole. No, I said the places I went were shitholes. So oh, these are the tourist I went to Paris. You know probably is? not nice. What? Probably was. I liked Paris. Really? I think it's because I think it's because the people who live there are like, ugh, fucking tourists. Yeah, no, I don't blame them. You, know? you can't blame that. But I feel like if you go to a touristy place like that with a like, tracks... They're also tourists. full of, like, fucking thieves and the, it's, like, oh, smoggy. Yeah, you're gonna get pickpocketed. We also went to... Uh, we were, I think it was uh, New York. If you go to Times Square, there's a lot of people like, yeah, that was there, there was a black dude who was like, hey man, check out my album. I was like, oh, he gave me his album. I was like, sweet man. He's like, yeah, can you give me some donations? I was like, no, he grabbed it back. <laughs> he was trying to trick me to buy it. Dude, what an I, No, he, he, he didn't even grab dude. it back. He was like, give me money. It's like, no, he's like, give me money. And he was trying to like make you keep it, but give him no, money. No, he gave it. No, he pulled it back from me. Did he, 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 he didn't, didn't do that with me. me. Dude, dude, I was like, I went to the Rocky Steps where they're like Rocky. You know, I was there recently. Yeah. yeah, and I went there with a friend and like this guy came up to us like, oh, you're a lovely couple. We weren't even a couple, so that was awkward. And he's like, here, I'll take a picture of you with the Rocky statue, and then we went to the Rocky statue, and he took a picture, and I was like, uh, "What? I didn't. I don't, I don't even care." And she was from Philly, so yeah. she just she was like, "Yeah, I like live here for whatever." And then like he was like, "Here, uh, no, no, come on, give me a tip. Come on, I'm homeless. Give me a tip." Like he just expected. He wasn't even giving me eye contact. He was like, "Here, yeah, tip. Now give me money." I was like, "I, I didn't even want this picture." You dick. <laughs> I, 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 you, get, you, get, you get those fucking vultures around touristy spots. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, I'm in Philadelphia. Where's the Rocky steps? Yeah. You know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Feel like, they, like everyone that was jogging up those rocking steps, I was like, you motherfucker. It's like the, it's just like the people. The, the, you ever see those pictures yeah. of a like hundred people next to the the Eiffel Tower? They're all but they're not like. Oh, oh the leaning tower pieces. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So not the Eiffel Tower. I, I love that. But there's also one with the Mona Lisa. Uh, there's a oh, picture, yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. like it's a tiny little picture, like the model, the actual Mona Lisa, and there's just yeah, like a small. ton of tourists like with their phones. Yeah, and, like, yeah. stand back. and then there's a, an, an amazing, brilliant masterpiece behind the Mona Lisa that's much better paint like than the Mona Lisa, and no one looks at it. Oh. The Mona Lisa is good, but it's it's, it's all right. But the Mona Lisa. What's so great about it? I, this is a serious question. You guys are artists. What's so great about the Mona Lisa? Look at I don't know. Look at everything. Lead on us. 
Uh, Everyone's amazed by the weirdness of her smile story, in the picture. But, well, it's also the fact that he fucked up her smile. So like it's also like, the fact that from the year game, dude, look at everything else with it. No, it was, it was like it was like creepy yeah. people like they, screaming no. and dying. When they saw it, was amazing, dude. I'm saying, I'm saying a lot of art from that time. That, that's why it's impressive, though. It's, it's hundreds of years old. Yeah. It's hundreds of years old. Yeah, but what I was saying is there's other pictures that are better. Way better. From the from, same time. From yeah. Same, dude, I'm sure there are, but it's still, I mean, it's also a double famous artist, too. He did a lot of other stuff. Yeah, but, like, it's the guy behind you. That was the one out that would be what famous. What always impresses me is the, are the fucking statues. Yeah. 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 Out of yeah. marble. Yeah, and it looks and like cloth. It's so perfect. I've always, I've always thought about, like, man, could you imagine doing that? It had to happen. Just doing yeah. one of those and fucking like, up. Little like, subtle things. Just having the Oh, Michelangelo's David has like a hand bigger than the other, but no one notices. Yeah. And his wiener's tiny. <laughs> you you give him that direction. Huh, yeah. no. What? You notice his wiener. Of course it looks like it's kind of prominent. You lick your lips too. Mm. No, but mm. I, I don't know. I think I think I'm talking in, about it. In, in the guys, in the guys' defense, you know, if you were gonna show your your penis, you you would you would you would inflate it a little bit, right? Yeah. That guy just stayed stuff for like seven hours, so fuck you. That's true. <laughs> that guy that guy had it was right really cool to you, asshole. Yeah, and he probably like did the <laughs> yeah. dick last. Yeah, he was like, like oh, do you think my glass would have been like, oh, I'll give you a good dick. So he cannot yeah. keep he cannot keep a chub up for like seven hours. What if David was being kind of a dick that day, so we made his weird small? Fuck you, man. Oh, what if 